All right, welcome back to the last episode of Twitch Solves ISO for this season. Um, so we have an IMO four, which hopefully means I'll be able to do it. Uh, so I want x y squared plus y plus seven. What? What is this? Seven to divide. x squared y plus x plus y. Yeah, this is the last episode for this season. There might be another season, I haven't decided yet. But it will be a last episode for a while. Yeah. I know. Uh, okay, what, what am I supposed to do with this? Wait, also I I managed to miscopy this thing. It's x for y plus x plus y. So what I want is to get rid of that big term. The x squared y is a large thing and try to make the right hand side small. So I'm going to very hesitantly multiply by y squared and hope that doesn't make this thing way too big. So. And then I'm going to subtract off x times the left hand side, which conveniently also kills that x y term. Um, okay, I think we're almost done now. <laughs> so. Uh, Y squared minus 7. Oh, sorry, 7x. Yeah, so that left hand side definitely looks smaller than the right hand side now. So. Do I split into cases based on like whether this is positive or not? Y squared equals 7x. Yes, except in... Is that just... is that just it? So if it's positive, it's definitely less than the left hand side. If it's negative, can minus 7x... can 7x exceed that thing on the right? So, I think the conclusion is... Okay, so in this case, this is immediately a contradiction. Uh, and if y squared equals 7x, uh, we'll, deal, we'll deal with that later. y squared less than 7x... Uh, the y squared minus 7x is at most, so let's say 7x, I think. So, let's, let's just say... 
Okay, so y and 1, 2, um, I think. Okay, let's just, let's just kill these cases. I think we just I think we just win. Um, well, I'll let y so in the middle case, well, that y equals. So we'll say that y equals 7k. So x equals 7k squared. Then the uh, the original given equation becomes something. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Uh, this is so annoying. I really have to plug it back in. So this is, these are both three hundred. Oh, I think this this case isn't going to work out for size reasons. Uh, k to the 5. Or maybe not. Oh, so I'm the... I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so that case just works. Um, always. And... Okay, and then if y is in 1, 2, um, we, when y equals 1, what's the equation? So we go back to the equation on the top, so back to the top line, and we say uh, x plus 8 wants to divide x squared plus x. So in that case, okay, multiply by x, subtract, subtract, and then add. So these are actually if and only if, which will help us. So when y equals 1, uh, all the factors of 56 are a solution. Really? Okay. Sorry, let me... Let me... Is that? I'm not crazy, right? It's actually that many solutions. Okay. Alright, whatever. When y equals 2, 
4x plus 9 wants to divide 2x squared. You lost plus 1 on the right hand side. Shoot. Where? Oh. Plus one. Fifty seven. Oh, ah. X plus 8 divides 57. Man, I'm really making a lot of mistakes. Uh... Alright, the left hand side is odd. The right hand side is... another page. Multiply both sides by Can I short circuit this at all? Uh... Okay, subtract 4x. Okay, let, let's be real. It's equivalent to plugging in minus 9 quarters. Um, so 81 minus 18 plus 16, 79. Okay, that's a very that's just prime, right? So 4x plus 9 can't equal 79 though. Okay, so I think I think that should be it. Yeah, okay, I think we we have it. Alright.
Okay, let me do, do the right up. Um. No, no. Okay, so... Okay. No, let's just do the answer. So the answer is 7k, 7k. Can I request the problem now? That that should Do you have abundance? I have yeah, I have like I have two more problems that tied with this and then there was some more after that. Um I don't think I'm gonna get to Okay. 